Alrighty guys, and welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode, where today is going to be the final episode. We're starting episode 5, and I'm planning to do the whole thing in one episode, so yeah. Just giving you guys a heads up, this might be a long one, but we're going to hop right into it. We're going to watch the, pre the, was it previously on Minecraft Story Mode? And yeah. This is Previously taking a wild load. Minecraft story mode. Of course, as soon as I start talking, it does it. There is a key difference between a good friend and a bad one. Good friends do what you ask. They enjoy what you make for them. They never betray you. Jesse is a perfect example of what we call a bad friend. Other bad friends include, in no particular order, Fred and Zara. Ultimately, all losers who refuse to appreciate the gifts they've been given. Now me, I won't stand for ingratitude. So I took my gifts away. Oh, but then, then, just when I thought I'd found a promising new friend... Grrr, such a disappointment. That is when I had a brilliant idea. The perfect way to weed out the bad friends from the good. To be appreciated. I became Jesse. I was right, of course. The plan worked immediately. Jesse's good friends flocked to me. The better Jesse. <laughs> And now Jesse is trapped underground forever. One more ungrateful loser buried away. The saddest part of all, really, is that Jesse will never get to see how much better I've made Beacon Town. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> Yeah, it looks like he has done something to Beacon Town. I guess we're going in through the caves. We can go up through the mines. the admin didn't think to fortify these tunnels into town. Speaking of fighting admins, I can't help but wish we still had Zara around. I know she was... well, she was a little much. But having an ex-admin on our side seems like it could have come in handy. I guess. She still scared me, though. I think Zara's already done plenty in the fight against Romeo. And she's been at it a lot longer than we have. She deserves a break. Yeah, that's fair. Ugh. Maybe Zara's lucky being where she is right now. She's not currently marching towards a fight with the admin. I'm just glad that friends of Fred stayed at the entrance to that... That heck mouth. This is far too dangerous for them. Yeah. Jesse, when Romeo finds out what we're trying to do, we've seen what he does. I don't want to end up like Fred. I don't want Beacon Town to be like Zara's town. We've seen so many terrible things that Romeo's done. I just can't even handle thinking about that happening to the others. To our home. Yes, things look impossible, and they might be. But I believe in all of us. Look how far we've come. Look at all the impossible we've already done. We can do this. I know it seems hopeless, but we can't give up now. There are people up there counting on us, but we are not going to let them down. Hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Let's do it. Woo! My, that was loud. <clears throat> Here we go.
Sorry if I'm not talking much. I'm just again watching the cutscenes. No. You act like this is the first time you've seen the giant tower of lava. Although there's a bunch of them. Then he's got his obsidian golems. He's got banners up of my face like I'm a, you know, like I'm Kim Jong-un or Castro. Sorry, those are the only, like, like, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that word on YouTube. Am I? I'm, I'm just not going to say it, but you guys understand what I'm trying to say. What do you guys want to bet that's where the primary terminal is? The giant floating tower with no clear entrance? Yeah, probably. We've got to find a way up there. Might be a good idea to hit the map shop. Regroup, get some supplies. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Let's do that. Golems, but guys, admin, and he's with Axel and Olivia. We gotta hide. <sighs> Typical, heading exactly where we wanted to go. Then I guess we just can't get caught. Why exactly are we having a whole festival devoted solely to you? Do we really have to go up on stage with you in front of everyone? Enough! You two are gonna need to do a lot less talking and a lot more agreeing if you want to be a part of Beacon Town. Not so sure I do, actually. In fact, we were just about to head home. I'd be very careful if I were you guys, or there might not be a home to go back to. At all! Damn, so he's just rude. Bad to happen to a town, like Champion City, for example. And boom. did he just level that city? He destroyed Champion City. I? No. What did she do to deserve that? A chance of redeeming Romeo. Or did he just do that no, to prove a point to the sure. Axel and Olivia? Champion City. He blew it up. Yeah, he's a monster through and through. And he needs to be put down. Yeah, I... I guess you're right. We gotta put him down. Now, how about you run along and get that fireworks show ready for the big keynote, eh? Yes, admin. Uh, Jesse. I think the admin's distracted. Yeah, we should grab Axel and Olivia while we have the chance. What? You were always so worried about Champion City, and now? One less thing to worry about. Psst, Olivia, Axel. Oh my gosh, I knew it. I just knew it. <gasps> Whoa, am I seeing double? Shh. Jesse, I, what is? Come on, I'll explain everything, but we have to get off the streets. To the map shop, quick. He just destroyed it for no reason. I don't know what to say. Admins? A world beneath the bedrock? Yeah, I still think you made that part up. I mean, I'm relieved that the Jesse out there isn't the real you, but... But nobody else knows that. What if everyone in Beacon Town turns on you? I mean, with what just happened outside, Axel and I almost did. And we're your oldest friends. I mean, if we couldn't tell, I... I'll just have to make them understand what happened. Make them? 
I suppose if anyone could make them listen, it'd be you. But you said there's a way to stop this guy, right? Petra! Stella sucks even when she's on our side, but nobody deserves that. Ever. Her whole city. Gone. In an instant. Add it to the list of horrible things the admin's gonna pay for. So glad you guys are okay. Did Jesse tell you about the potato yet? The what? In the underneath, we got our hands on something called a word of passage. Hashtag potato451. I know it sounds weird, but it's supposed to take away the admin's powers for good. Oh, I can't wait to see his face when that happens. Look at the state of my poor shop. Oh, I'm most glad Nermi doesn't have to see the old girl looking like this. Is it even safe to hide out in here? <laughs> yeah, it used to be the safest place around. It's been ransacked once. Whoever did that might come back again. <laughs> Comforting. Getting into that tower won't be easy. Hopefully, there's still something useful in here. Everyone, take a look around. Shout if you find anything. While you guys do that, I'm gonna keep watch. Guess we're gonna take a look around the shop, see if we got any goodies. We got head home. Oh, we mostly got heads lying around. I'm surprised nobody wanted to take these. Too bad they don't help us, though. They might. Hold up. I think we could use those as masks. I think we're going to be able to read our way up to the tower. Can I access any, like, storage containers, like a chest or something? Guess I just got to go walk around and talk to hey, people. Hey, you two. What's up, Jesse? You two haven't seen Lucas around, have you? We got separated when the admin zapped us to his prison. No, he... he's just been missing. Kinda went underground. I'm... I'm sure he's okay, though. When you thought the admin was me, did he tell you anything? About a terminal, maybe? No, the guy's a jerk. Never answered a single question. He does spend a lot of time in that floating tower, though. Would she never let us go to? What brought you both back to Beacon Town? Yeah, we, uh, we heard something weird was going on. I had no idea how weird until we saw the lava, though. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay, we'll be here, keeping an eye out. <laughs> okay. Luna, did you? Oh. We always trust the treasures. The. Tre I can't talk. We always trust the treasure sniffing llama. That means that's going to progress the story. You okay there, Jack? So uh, let's go talk to uh, Jack here and uh just feeling a little violent. I can't remember her name. In here and robbing the place. The new gal. Priceless artifacts and mementos gone. I promise, Jack, we're going to get everything back once we defeat the admin. Yeah, you're right. Probably just fixating on this to distract myself. In the meantime, we'll keep looking around. Might be something useful in here yet. Uh, thanks, Jesse. I appreciate it. Okay, let's go talk to Binti. Hey, Binta. Just Binta, okay? sorry. Just looking at scraps from some of the places Jack has been. Maybe someday I'll get to see them. If we defeat Romeo, that is. We will. Let me know if you find anything useful. Of course. Okay, let's go talk to the llama. Luna. I remembered her name. It's just Do the llama's okay, name Luna? is Luna. Yeah, I know it's scary. We're gonna get through it, though. Poor llama. Time to pull the lever. Watch it just ch turn off the lamp. Oh! Oh? This? Hey, Jack! 
By the tides, I'd almost forgotten about that stash. Are these? Elytra wings? Those are super rare. Yeah. Got them one time when I made a trip to the end. Nothing better for gliding. What was that? Hello? <gasps> it's Nerm! Nermy! <laughs> Never letting you out of my sight again, Nerm. Never again. <laughs> but how did you get out of that prison? Because I broke them out! Ah! Uh, Ivor, what on earth were you just doing? Hanging out up there? Jesse, I'm a ninja. Where else would I be? That is a nice outfit, Ivor. I know. Thank you! Oh, oh my oh my gosh. Do you know who that is? That is Ivor. Founding freaking member of the Order of the Freaking Stone. That is a legend. Standing in front of us, Nerm, within arm's reach. Trust me, Jack. Best thing around Ivor? Just be yourself. Uh, yeah, that, uh, that makes a whole lot of sense. Thanks, Jesse. Well, here goes. Ivor of the Order of the Stone? <laughs> what is he this doing? Is quite the pleasure. Huh. Well, yes, of course it is. And you are. Oh, me? Oh, I'm uh, the uh, the uh, stock, the uh, stab, well, from the. I'm. Uh... He can't remember a title. <laughs> Nobody. Uh, how are you? <laughs> He's Jack. Oh, well, hello. Always nice to meet a fan. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, I am happy to report that your plan for the admin worked perfectly. You fell for my deception hook, line, and sinker. Story about you rotting away in prison forever? Big success. And after the admin's appetite for Jesse's destruction was satisfied, I returned to the prison by cover of night to free your friend from that cursed place. Between both of our enormous intellects, we figured out a simple way to disarm maximum security and escape without being blown to smithereens. It was incredibly difficult, and took many, many days of intense mental activity. Well, you're a hero, Nerm. Jack should watch out. You might start stealing his glory. Nerm, the Sunshine Rock. Mm. Now that the team is back together, Ivor, we need to stop the admin. We're supposed to use our word of passage at the primary terminal. Jesse thinks it's up in the tower. Yes, I believe that's exactly where it is. I've heard him reference such a thing several times. No one thinks to check for eavesdropping ninjas. I have learned a lot of information that way. You know about the terminal? What does it actually do? No idea, but you, the other you, Spends a great deal of time within it. Just, uh... You sure we can't, like, reason with this admin guy? You know, I'm talking out. You? Wanting to talk it out? Jesse taught me to keep the explosions in Boomtown. Well, that's not... You can't reason with this guy, Axel. Trust me. Yeah. We've tried before. Some people just don't want to be reasoned with. As soon as this guy sees us, he'll just blink us out of existence. I'm formulating a plan. We just need a distraction. Maybe a distraction like Jesse's big speech at the start of JesseCon? That sounds great, but Elytra wings don't exactly go up. <laughs> they do with fireworks. And we you can use the fireworks as cover. Nerm, think you could get me a map of Beacon Town? Hmm. Just like that. Here's the plan. Like Jack said, we need fireworks. Which the admin has stockpiled backstage at the event! Wait, isn't Stella in charge of fireworks for this thing? Perfect. We'll never get backstage without fireworks guild uniforms. So we find Stella, and she shows us where they are. I'll grab them. We suit up, and boom, backstage passes. 
but you still there. look like Jesse. Some fireworks. Wait, what am I doing? You're gonna be getting me a bucket of water. We'll get to that. While we're getting the fireworks, Axel and Olivia will distract the admin. Are you sure I can't just blow up the stage? Uh, that would be distracting. Axel? Then we wait until the big fireworks finale. The what? It's Romeo. I promise you, there will be a huge fireworks finale. Petra and Jack will wait in the order hall. The second those fireworks go off, I go airborne. Once I land, I use the bucket of water to create a waterfall. Oh, I was wondering what it was for. Then the three of us will head into the tower and use hashtag potato451 to strip the admin of his powers before he even knows we need him. See? Piece of cake. That uh, might just be the best crazy I've heard in a while. Jesse, this could work. Hey, uh, maybe explosions, it will work, but something's excitement. definitely going to go wrong. Explosions. I love it. This all starts with getting Stella to help us, though. Yeah, she's pretty tight with that admin guy. Is she a friend of yours? She did seem kind of awful. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that one. You're wrong. Stella might have caused a lot of trouble in the past, but I know I got through to her in the Sunshine Institute. We can trust her. Yeah, sure she she right admitted that, that she did a, she made a wrong choice. I don't know why I'm trusting her well, because of it, but just that one Stella time. Stella does know where the Fireworks Guild uniforms are. I could follow her to them, and then we wouldn't have to talk. Great. Can I say how much I don't like this plan? You can, because you're staying here. Only Jesse stands a chance on the streets because Jesse is the admin. You don't exactly look like the you we saw earlier. You'll have to change. And we're back to playing me. Jesse, I know you think Stella's on our side, but you can't trust her, okay? Be careful. I think Jesse should be more worried about the admin showing up during this plan. Good luck, friend. One serving of admin coming up. I can do this. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. Because I'm pretty sure it's going to give me the option to either talk with her or follow her. Time to find Stella. Oh, I guess I can't walk that way. Do I got to go this way? <gasps> oh, he's just full on there. Oh, and there? What the? I feel like this is the one I need to follow. He full on put a pork shop out front. I did what you asked. Now there are pork chops for everyone. Would you like to taste one? I made it myself. They're fresh. I promise. I don't know what to do. They're not cooked the way you like, are they? I'm so sorry. I'll do better next time. Please don't send me away. It quite literally just got rid of him. Did the also did the other Stella go this way? Hello? They're saluting me. Oh 
Okay. Uh. Do I go this way? Okay, so this is the other end. Wait, so I lost the, the Stella. Where'd she go? An ocelot? What is that for? So Stella, it's not going to let me go that way. So she must have gone this way and I didn't notice. But I need to go over here. Yeah, I need to go this way. It's weird when it gives you the walking option. Oh, look what he did to the beacon. He made it red. Nell! Hey, yo! Jesse, dude! Just unveiled the new statue you built. <laughs> yeah. It's got, um, character? Yeah, I kind of liked the old one, but... Whoa! Hey, I mean, you know what? This one is totally rad. I cannot keep my eyes off it. <laughs> Sha. You know what? I change my mind. Let's bring the old one back, shall we? Dude! I can't wait to see it again. Not that, you know, this one wasn't... Like, go with your gut, dude! Oh, I'm about to get Especially Nell zapped. The old one back. Sha. Did I just get Nell killed? Righteous! Thanks, Jesse, dude! No. No. She's gonna get... What? She's gonna get zapped. What? Where, where is my statue? You there, Nelly. What happened to my statue? The, the one you just tore down because your gut told you to? What? What are you talking about? What is she talking about? Like two seconds ago, you you, you were... You want to blame your insolence on me? Golems, take her away! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got... Come no! Here, so do, like, take some deep breaths, okay? I got Nell nabbed. Oh, no! No. Nell. Why do I keep on just getting Nell in worse and worse situations? Last game, I got her thrown into lava. And now I just got her nabbed by the admin. Also, I just saw Stella. Okay, we need to go this way. I'm gonna just quit talking to people because I'm just making things worse. Okay. Stella. I wanted one thing from you. More fireworks and banners. It's not my fault. I I'm understaffed. Then hire more people. Force them, conscript them, I don't care. Jesse Khan will be the greatest thing this town has ever seen, or I will personally ensure you pay the price. Ooh. Where the heck am I supposed to get more people? Bingo. That's our ticket in. It's now or never. Perfect. Now we can... Oh, Gravel, where are those extra Jesse banners? Oh! Stella! Jesse! Back so soon! <laughs> Since when do you... Hmm. You're not the admin, are you? Hmm? Hmm? It's no use hiding the truth. I am not the admin. For I am actually the real bona fide... Jesse! I knew it! Keep your voice down, all right? I am so glad you're back. Pretending to be the other Jesse's loyal servant has been exhausting. I bet. Wait, 
Why am I just finding out now you're back? Don't you trust me, Jesse? I thought you'd move past your competitive nature with me. I am part of your core gang. I hate being left out of the loop like this. We couldn't risk the admin finding out I was back. The fewer people who knew, the better. I understand. Whatever it takes to thwart that maniac. Man, I can't believe I almost worked for him. Gives me the willies. Ugh. Look, Stella, I need these uniforms to defeat the admin. I don't have time to explain all the... No problemo, friendo. Carry on with your top secret mission. I won't spill anything to the admin. I happen to be an excellent actor. I shall get into character. Let's just, uh, separate, okay? Roger that. Exeunt stage left. What is going on? I feel like the craziness of the admin is just rubbing off on everyone. And of course, as Jesse, I've got my best friends, Olivia and Axel, with me, don't I? <sighs> Who are you? Yes! Thanks, Jesse. We love being your best friend. Don't we, Axel? Oh, yeah. Totally. Axel nearly blew my cover. Uncanny. It's amazing. More like terrifying. What's wrong, Binta? The admin. He's right there. Right in front of me. All the suffering he's caused. Killing Fred. Inflicting sorrow on my people. He's so close. I could just charge the stage and take my justice now. Standing here idly. Seeing that smile. It'd be useless. There aren't any weapons that can even touch him right now. Our only hope is getting that word of passage up to the tower. <sighs> You're right. Attacking him now would only doom us all. And as Jesse, your Jesse... Let's go to work. Of course, it was mandatory, but I sensed that you wanted to come anyway. So thank you for understanding just how important I am to you. No one permitted back here except... Fireworks Union, huh? Jeez, well, get back there then. Okay. Thank you. Now we can get to our jobs that we're totally qualified to do. Okay, they don't care. I'll find a bucket and report back. Good luck. I hope you can pull this off. I will try. What the? There's no fireworks. Just stuff. Come on. Who plans a convention with no fireworks? That's like planning a birthday party without... Uh, why can't it ever be easy? <laughs> Please. When has it ever been easy? Easy or not, I can't help but notice that we still don't have any fireworks. See a bunch of fire charges. I guess we'll just need to make some. There has to be enough supplies to craft some paper around here. Then, all we need is gunpowder and a fireworks star. Oh, that would really add some flash. We'll keep a lookout on the exits and stage. Okay, I got... I think I know what I'm supposed to do. Let's go over here. Let's get the sugar cane. Ooh, sugar cane. This should be enough here for some paper. Now I gotta go over to one of the creepers and I gotta get the gunpowder. We're gonna poke it. Hope this isn't stupid. Gunpowder. Perfect. Nice. Is there only one creeper for one gunpowder? Any... Uh, I guess I gotta open some chests. Dirt. Might come in handy later. Huh. A cop 
be of Lucas's book. Whoever owns this chest must be a fan. Or it is quite literally Lucas's book. Okay, let's look at the firework stars. I just need okay, one of these, and then we can craft like up a firework. Union guys already dropped off the firework stars. Which one should I take? Green creeper. Why Love not? This one makes the firework shape like a green creeper face. Do, 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 do. Now we gotta craft this. Okay, let's get crafting. Okay. Oh, I guess it doesn't work like that. I'm gonna have to replace it. I can't do stacks. Now, what is it? Firework. Okay. So I guess I didn't need to make that much paper. You never know, though. You might need it. Now, there's a firework. Nice. Now, just need to... Hey, Glenn, I... Wait a minute. You ain't Glenn. And you ain't... Who... Huh. Yeah. She knocked him that out. Felt... That felt good. Really good. Did you get the bucket of water? Maybe we can't hurt the admin yet. But we can still take out his goons. We've come too far to second guess ourselves, and we can't let anyone get in our way. Nice one, Binta. Ha! Not bad. Yeah, I think we've given Binta a bit of a taste for combat. Did you get the bucket? Right here. <laughs> He's just like, did you get the bucket? Good luck up there. I'm going to check on my people. Okay. You're welcome back here when this is over. Thank you, Jesse, for everything. Okay, so now she's actually just like leaving. She did her part. She's done. She's going home. She'll hear from us in the morning if the plan failed or not. Okay, all strapped in. Fireworks ready. Oh, no. Oh, did he spot me? Uh, Jesse. Uh, hey, Jesse. Yeah. Jesse, we want to talk to you more about how great it is being your friend. Okay, they got this. I'm, I'm just gonna, like, two, uh, like, two, two liters. <laughs> underarm. Okay, we're up to the tower then. I guess we... I don't know if it's going to make me do a little bit here, then drop the water, or if it's just going to start off with me dropping the water. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey! Hey, Jesse, think. Oh, got it! Woohoo! Coming in hot! Okay, okay. That was a close I just one. Need to... Oh, perfect. Just what I needed. Ah, too slow, dummy. Come at me, ugly. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, that was close. Okay, time to get the others. Oh, it full on's just like, yeah, drop it. That's not as, as of an impressive waterfall as it was in the planning, Jesse. Like, you had a nice ten buckets up there with you. Okay. Boy, was I glad to see that waterfall. Yeah, we were getting kind of nervous down there. Sorry, the welcoming committee was a little strict. Come on, let's get inside. Okay, I'm 
not the only one that finds all this silence freaky, right? This place is dead. Definitely strange. Though I imagine you might be relieved to have a little quiet right now, huh? I was almost expecting, I don't know, another huge boss battle or something when we got in here. Yeah, the admin definitely seems to like those. But nothing. Yeah, after everything we've been through trying to get in here and take the admin's powers, having a teeny bit of a break is kind of nice. I thought so too. You know what? I just realized something. We're probably going to have to fight up this tower. <gasps> this is where everyone's been kept! No, this is like a prison! Look at it! I bet these are each cells. There's someone kept in this. Wait, is it the ocelots? Why well, would you look who it is? <laughs> Come out and play! Uh, hey guys, what's going on? Stand down, ocelots! Lucas! Looks like the tables have finally turned, huh, Jesse? We can't let you keep doing what you're doing. That's enough now. Whoa, sorry. Guys, Lucas, I think you're confused. It's me! Oh, we're not confused. We know exactly who you are. Now, hang on, everyone. No. It's our turn to talk. Not yours. Not anymore. I reformed the Ocelots because I wanted to remind everyone of how things were before. And most of all, I wanted to remind you. No, Because but... the Jesse I know wouldn't be running around on some power trip locking people up. Lucas. So yeah, I set your prisoners free. What are you going to do about it? Yeah, and telling us our builds were ugly. It wasn't me that locked you all up. It was the admin. Wait, what? No, you said you defeated the admin. Everything you think I've told you since I came back from the Ice Palace was a lie. The admin locked me in a prison underground, took my identity, came back here, and pretended to be me. That is... No. How do we know this isn't a trick? No trick, friend. And it's not the first time. My friend Voss, the admin did the same thing with him. Yeah, we saw the whole thing. Is this really true? All those horrible things you did that... That wasn't really you. Lucas, you know how much I care about you. I could never hurt you. <laughs> There's the Jesse I know. Well, now that we have that sorted out... What in the world are we gonna do next? Wait, why are you even in here? We're trying to get to something called the Terminal. We have a word of passage. <coughs> Potato! That we can apparently use to take away the admin's powers for good. Yeah. Nell is just standing there zoned out. Head, especially the potato, but I'm in. You just lead the way, and the new ocelots will have your back. <laughs> well, would you look at this? Romeo's it's my armor. The Jesse memorabilia collector. I know we don't have much time, but it might be smart to suit up properly. Agreed. All right, we know we got to go for it. We're going Tim with Tim. Not have been a real we started with it, but we're going to take it. A very real butt kicking. Now you look like you're ready for a showdown. Agreed. Oh, thanks, guys. Time to end this. Ocelots! Oh! There's a lot more ocelots now. A lot. That was also the quickest chapter in this okay, entire game. If I were a terminal, what would I look like? Why, hello there. Wasn't expecting you. Oh, crud. What's the move here, Jesse? Maybe you're confused, but this is my office. Hang on, let me try and reason with him. 
Uh, hello? Jesse? It's over, admin. We're here to... Excuse me, excuse me, we? What? Where are they? Where'd they go? Oh, I am so upset that you're back. That wannabe ninja Ivor told me you were still in the Sunshine Institute. Hearing that made me feel great. This? This makes me feel... Ugh, bad. He was only telling you what I told him to tell you. This is between you and me. Ah, uh, suppose you're right. So, let me guess what your plan is here. See if I've really got the Jesse thing down. You want to slug it out, Jesse or uh, Jesse, to take back your face and control of Beacon Town, right? No, I know you're way too powerful for me to fight one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know if you've noticed, but your people out there, your friends, they just love the new you. I'm the best Jesse that's ever been. They don't really love you. They're afraid, you maniac. What? They're terrified of you. The only reason they act like they like you is so you won't make them disappear. Well, maybe I should make them disappear then. All of them! And you know what? It's just as well you're back. Because being Jesse is the worst! Oh, yes! Yes, I said it! I hate being you! Your, your people, your friends, they're so needy, so clingy! I have to listen to their stupid voices day after day after day, just asking for things. I, mean, I, I thought being Jesse meant that people would do what I wanted to do. No one ever asks what I want! Ah, oh, it's all, can I have iron and can I have gold? Well, I'm back now. I, I, I could help you take back over. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I suppose you could. Yeah. It's just... But it was fun at first. I show them some super amazing display of my awesome powers. They'd laugh. I'd laugh. But soon they were just asking me to do that all the time. <laughs> you, know, you know what's funny? You've made me see something. I mean, it's starting to feel like maybe I should just leave being Jesse to you. You know? <laughs> the, the, the genuine article. <laughs> yeah, but maybe that is the best way to proceed. For the love of... Finally, yes! That sounds like a perfect plan. Oh, <laughs> I'm so glad you agree. <sighs> well... This has all been terribly enlightening, and I, I think we've all learned some great lessons here that I will totally remember for next time. Next time? Yeah, the, the next world I build after I bedrock over yours. Oh, I'm going to get it totally right with that one. No! Damn it. A whole new set of people. A whole new world. Oh, I'll be a great leader, a great friend next time around. I should thank you for all these... These wonderful little lessons you've helped me to learn. Now hang on a second, Romeo. We can still be friends. You don't have to bedrock over anything. Yeah? You, you really think so? Yes! Mm. Nah. Bedrocking time. Damn it. Oh well. Toodles! I gotta find that terminal quick. Oh, this doesn't seem good. Oh, you guys are okay. Yeah, he just blipped us back to the hallways again. Such a... Ooh, such a jerk. Oh, he's already bedrocked us over. We gotta stop this. We need to take his powers away. Find the terminal space. The roof. That's where the admin keeps his portal to the terminal thing. 
Go! Come on! We need to get to that portal before the bedrock closes up. Oh, this is going to be another one of those tallest structures that pokes through the bedrock. Double wearing it? No. Yeah, I don't know. I always love it though when we jump into the wizard sleeve. Here. Yeah, but we don't know where here is. Is that the clock from the admin's tower? Yeah, <clears throat> I mean, uh. I, uh, found the Colossus. The trip down memory lane is nice and all, but how do we find the primary terminal thingy? There is so much stuff in here. Hashtag potato 451! It was, uh... Worth a shot. A good thought, but, uh... Password protocol initiated. It's him! Oh. It's just more of his stupid recordings. You've selected password protocol. Oh, it's like a automatic assistant or something. Welcome to Terminal Space. Well, shall we? Let's do this. So, wait. He has this whole assistant thing set up, but only he ever comes here? The automated personal assistant system was developed to aid the mighty admin in menial tasks and help his friends navigate the terminal space. Man, so when he first made all this, he was still hoping his friends would come here too. Oh, so we're Kinda where he even created the gas bad for him, actually. The traps. I'm noticing stuff like this is like stuff throughout the entire game. It's like all the stuff he's built. Is that? Please enter your password to begin a new program. I... that was all over my head. Password, password, password. That must be the word of passage. Hashtag potato451. Okay, is there anything in the chest? It's empty? Waiting for material request. I mean, it must be talking about the potato, right? Sounds right to me. Uh, potato, please? Acquiring potatoes. Items dispensed. Thank you. Wait, two potatoes? Yeah, a normal one and a poisoned one. Which one do we use? I mean, the word of passage didn't say anything about poison, but it did have that weird hashtag thingy. That might mean something? Oh, I don't think that symbol ever actually means anything. Hmm. Gotta figure out which one is correct. Okay, let's use this. Um. Hmm, don't think that's exactly right. 
I hope this is right. I still need to enter the rest of the word of passage. Won't know if this is right or not till I do. What is the word of passage? Is that it? Hmm. Don't think that's exactly right. Does anybody know the password? Let's, uh, place poisonous potato. Let's try this one. I still need to enter the rest of the word of passage. Won't know if this is right or not till I do. What was it? Can somebody tell me? Was it three, four, five? Hmm. Don't think that's exactly right. I don't know. Okay. Okay. I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out. Let's put this stuff back. So I believe it's one, three, four. And I have to remove all the blocks. I did also look up a guide. Hmm. Don't think that's exactly right. Okay, let's swap the potatoes then. Maybe this will do the trick. I still need to enter the rest of the word of passage. Won't know if this is right or not till I do. Is that not it? I don't think that's exactly right. The do with potato four I, five one. I don't know what's supposed to be happening here. I am very confused. <gasps> oh, hold up. I, uh... I should have finished the guide. Because I, I was doing it without listening to the audio. It's literally... Four... Five... One. Okay, okay, that sounds like progress, right? Pirate party protocol initiated. Is that uh, not it? I'm, uh, I'm guessing that's not quite right. Agreed. Sorry, parrots. Oh, I guess it's the poisonous potato then? And there we go. Was that a good thud or a bad thud? It's Fred? Zara, hi. If you're seeing this recording, well, I guess the worst has happened. And you just put the word of passage into the primary terminal. I wish the terminal could just take away Romeo's admin powers. It'd be easier that way. But making this gauntlet was the best I could do. Put your hand into the pedestal to receive the gauntlet. It's got the power to make Romeo normal again. It might take a few hits to remove his powers entirely, but it'll get the job done. Do you understand? Then good luck, Sara. Is You're... that the gauntlet he has? I think you might need it. Well, here goes nothing. What do you think you're doing? What's happening? We're here to stop you, Romeo, once and for all. I told you, your world's done. No, take that. <laughs> Jesse, hurry. Do it. It wiped out all what? his creations. 
droplet delivered. Gold protocol. Well, this should come in handy. The gold gauntlet. Why did it? They had. They. I guess. Yeah. They had to tie it back into the gauntlet from the first episode somehow. I guess this, this is, is the way. Run directly at me. Oh, that did something. I don't know what you're playing at, but it ends now. Oh, we've restricted his powers. What? What? Oh, you, you think you're very clever, don't you? Well, how about we finish this with a little change of scenery? Oh, the, it froze on me the there a little temple? bit. Kalu Kale, Jesse. Remember when we first met? Oh. That was back when I thought we could still be friends. Huh. Figures. He dodged it. This temple, this challenge, was my first gift to you. Now, it's going to be where I bury you. Running out of platform, Jesse. Just Nowhere punch him back. To run. Did it? Unbelievable. I could still use the gauntlet. Just die already? That one was assisting me. You could just see the A already growing. The bar around the A was already growing. This is impossible. No one gets to make me small. I can't. Why do I feel so powerless? The ice tower? Come on. I certainly hope you're enjoying this trip down memory lane as much as I am. He buffed up his snowman a bit. Oh, he gave his snowman iron golem arms. Damn it. I should have got closer. He did a lot of damage there. I I don't think I'm doing this right. Oh, maybe I am. That's the third hit. I think he's starting to lose control of his forms. Oh, I am very much starting to hate that stupid gauntlet. Games are over, admin. Give it up. Oh, I am going to. Oh, you don't. Don't touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Hi, Jesse. Petra. <laughs> Aren't you happy to see me? Our friendship's gotten a little rocky on this adventure, hasn't it? Little worn thin. I wonder who. It's did got that, that after image effect. Listening to you, admin. No, that's a shame. Here, I thought it would be a nice way of working through some things. Yeah. 
Okay, we got this. Romeo, it's time you paid for everything you've done. Don't you judge me! You don't get to judge me! Give me that! That's the cause of all this! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Okay. Say that again. How's that level playing field feel, huh, jerk? Get away from me! He can still throw things. I also forgot to mention he still has flight. Ooh. Can't even do that anymore. I'd rather die than let you beat me! I am gonna destroy you! All of you, all of you. Once I get my hands back on that gauntlet! Mash, 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 mash. No, Romeo, come on! Come on! The gauntlet! No! It's I'm mine! Going, Jesse. It's mine! Quickly! No! Ministry, this! Did we strip him of his power? Why'd you have to go and make everything so difficult? Everyone likes you, and you're nothing. Hey, we're not the ones trying to rule the world. What? No, no, I'm not. I just... I just wanted people to... People to... Looks like this place is collapsing. This place is held together by my powers. No more powers. No more terminal zone. <laughs> We're doomed. We're gonna get buried if we don't get out of here pronto. What about him? What about him? He's not our problem anymore. But look at him. He'll never make it out of here on his own. Oh, she's right. Just... just leave me. My powers are the cause of all this in the first place. I deserve to stay here. I paid for the mess I made. Ah, uh, do we leave him or do we take him? This is what it took for me to realize. You can still fix things, Romeo. No matter what you've done, you're still a person. Like everyone else, you can be redeemed. Redeemed? You... You really believe that, don't you? Jesse, now's the time. We gotta go. Gotta run, man. 
Go on, leave me. I deserve to stay in this oblivion. You're not, You're not staying. staying here. That would be the coward's way out. Come on. The lava gets to that portal before we do. We'll be stuck here forever. Then let's move. Got this. Almost there. Everyone keep moving. Control it! Wait, did he befriend? He befriended the Enderman. Run for it now! Oh damn! He just snapped its neck. Did we make it? Radar looked like he got caught in the lava. I am not gonna lie. Yeah, and not a minute too soon. Oh my gosh! It's not to following me, right? Right? Nah, I think you're in the clear, Slim. Hey, nice work. I was wondering when that was gonna happen. I was wondering why this still was... The sky was still covered in bedrock. I can't talk. Stampy has literally learned to fly with parrots. I... I... Thank you. Sincerely. I hardly believe that I deserve to be here at all anymore. I do know what I need to do to make up for my crimes, though. I'm going to return to the underneath. Try to help all the people I left behind. Fix all the lives I... ruined. And I'm going to try and find Zara. See if I can't make things right between us. I mean, it doesn't make up for what I... or what I did to Fred. But if I can heal things with Zara... Well, it's something, at least. And... and no more admin powers. Everything I do now will just be the normal way. I think you might want to stay away from her, Romeo. I honestly think she might just kill you if she sees you again. Well, then that's a risk I have to take. She's... sort of the only friend I have left. <laughs> Seems fitting that my only friend... wants to kill me. Save the world again, huh? Doesn't that ever get old? Why, yes, thank you for noticing. Thought we'd fit in a light bit of world saving before afternoon pie time. Happy to see you all in one piece, too. Whoa, 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 whoa! Is that the admin? Is he- Don't worry. He's not the admin anymore. This is Romeo. Well, that's a relief. No more admins for me, thank you very much. I agree with that 112%, Blondie. But Jesse, after everything he did, do you- you really think he deserves to go free? What if he hurts some more people? He might... He might have been better off where he was. 
Oh, he's free, but he's not going anywhere. He's gonna make up for all the bad stuff he's done. I foresee many, many hours of community service in his future. Like, thousands. What do you guys say we head home? I say, way ahead of you, friend. <laughs> Me too. Man, I cannot wait to put on a shirt again. Uh, yeah, you didn't need to take the one off to begin with. And we're back. We're rebuilding. Or are we demolishing? Oh, I guess this was back before scaffolding. I was like, that's some interesting Minecraft scaffolding. I don't know why they didn't just use the actual scaffolding. No, this was probably... This was made before those blocks were even put into the game, so... <sighs> Jesse! I am approaching you from this direction, and am coming to speak with you. No ninja trickery, hijinks, or tomfoolery here. <laughs> After all the times you've snuck up on me recently, I appreciate that. Precisely my intention! My days of sneaking up on people are behind me. So, no more ninja Ivor, then? Ha! <laughs> no, no. I decided it was time to stop running around in my pajamas and start trying to fix a few messes. Starting with trying to heal the rift between my old friends. Magnus is easy. We'll just pop by Boomtown. Last I heard, Gabriel was doing the wandering warrior thing. Aw, oh, man, that's awesome. They're going to be so excited. You think so? That's yeah, certainly the I way think they'd I'm appreciate you showing up and visiting. Well, I suppose it's time for me to go. This has been fun, though, hasn't it? Jesse! Jesse, hey! What's up, Radar? I was just saying goodbye to... He Batmaned us! Guess properly! Your habits die hard. I, uh, hope you don't mind, but, uh, I've kind of been taking charge of the beautification project. I thought, why not at least make it look intentional? Really stepping it up to leader mode, if I do say so myself. Okay, so and he's doing the beautification stressful, process. But also fun. So like fun, stressful, stress fun. You've definitely been stepping it up. I'm really proud of you. Oh, wow. This is best day. Whoa! Hey, Luna. Anyway, uh, so with Champion City gone, I was going to make Luna a new llama house and get her set up here in Beacon Town while I help out up there. But, uh, before I did, I thought I'd uh, double check and see if you'd already you'd been planning on, you know, uh, watching out for her. Seeing, you know, that she likes you so much and all. If you've already built her a llama house when I haven't been around, I I just wouldn't want to double up. If she wants to stick with me, it'll be my honor to keep taking care of her. I think she'll really like that. I always considered you a part of the family. Okay. Well, uh, she's going to cry. I do want to sincerely thank you, Jesse, for everything. You saw me at my worst, and you still thought I was worth saving. That, well, that makes me want to try to be better at being my best. Well, what can I say? I looked below the surface and saw that you probably weren't the worst all the way down. What was that about Stella being the worst? Ha! <laughs> hey! I was just telling Stella here that I would take care of Luna for her. Oh, cool. Well, she seems very excited. Yes, and now I must go. Thank you again for everything. Sincerely. Oh, she's just leaving? Now, you got everything you need. All packed and double-checked? Yes, Jack. This is very, I don't know, bittersweet for me, you know. Um, goodbyes are no good. Hey! 
That we have, Nermi. So I won't say it this time. <laughs> Not to people that I will see again. <laughs> you got it. Come on, walk me to the gate. So, you're leaving, apparently? All on your own? Honestly, probably a while. But it's good this time. I'm doing it for me. I'm trying to, like, grow or whatever. Anyway, I'm about to say goodbye to everyone, and I <laughs> come here. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Promise oh, broken. Jeez, it'll be okay. So Petra's heading off into the Great Unknown, huh? <laughs> I figured. Definitely sounds exciting. Could start a new town. I bet Petra would extend the invite. You could go, too. I appreciate that, but... I think it's time I settled down here. I just got the ocelots back together. Thought maybe I'd work on a new book. Hey, you guys are missing out on prime group hug action. Actually dying. Ugh. You don't think this is like the last time we'll all be together, do you? No. Well, maybe. I don't know. I mean, if Petra's leaving. Well, I mean, until the world needs saving again. That always seems to act as a nice reunion. Well, hopefully, hopefully not too soon, though. Yeah, not too soon. Okay. Well. I'm gonna get out of here before I... <laughs> too late. Bye, guys. <laughs> he just breaks down emotionally. Be safe out there, okay? The safest. And when you finish that book of yours, I better have a great part in it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I know back in Admin's cabin, you said you'd always be waiting in Beacon Town. But the invite's still open if you want it. No pressure. Wait, you're leaving? <clears throat> what do I do? Let's hit yeah, the road. I think Petra and I are going to hit the road for a while. <gasps> Sounds pretty awesome, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean I mean it does, but but without you here, who will run Beacon Town? Things are peaceful now, but danger could still strike at any time. What do you think, pal? You. Me? Really? Yeah. I hereby promote you from intern to hero in residence. Thanks, boss. This, uh, you have been, you are. What I'm trying to say is that I promise I'll make you proud. Mostly, you're just now in charge of making sure the have. Order Temple does not get lit on fire Everyone's by Ivor. Going to miss you, you know? And I'm going to miss them too. But if anyone ever really needs me, I'll be around. Come on, Luna. Bye, everyone. Hey, dummy, you gonna wait up or what? I was kind of hoping you'd be interested in a race. Ha! You're on! That's it. That's Minecraft Story Mode Season 2, guys.
I really hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm going to hit to the main menu here just in case there is a after episode teaser. You never know. We've been getting hit with those a lot recently. Uh, I didn't expect it on the first episode. Uh, but this might be just taking us back to the title screen by the looks of it. So, yeah. I guess if you guys have found yourself at any point enjoying this series, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. And if this is the first episode you've watched, I do have all the previous episodes up on the channel for Season 1 and 2. So do go check those out. And yeah, this has been Gunshy Mori, signing off. Peace. Yeah.